Hi everyone, in this video we are just going to go over pagination. I was asked a small question yesterday on how we could easily paginate the events if uh, you had more than you know, 10, 20, 30, you want to paginate those or skip them. Uh, I just thought I'd create a short video and show you how you could do that. So I'm just going to start our Nodemon server using Yarn Dev. If you watched episode 5, you'll see me implement Yarn Dev. Um, if you have an error when you're starting your application from scratch in a new terminal, or this is the first time that you're following this tutorial, uh, you must export the MongoDB URI uh, constant so you can then um, access it within the process. Uh, if you're using uh, Heroku Local, you can use a .env file, or if you're using um, the .env npm module, then you can also um, use that as well. So we should be able to run yarn dev. Cool, so our server is now running on port 5000. If we check graphical, we should see that that is also working correctly as well. So if we pop over to our code editor, all we really need to do inside of here is define um, inside of our all events file is actually just specify some argument types. And the first one will be um, first. And that's kind of just a, a convention uh, that we can follow. And the type here is going to be a GraphQL int. Now we don't have that GraphQL uh, int defined, so what we can do is um, place that up here, and that imports it from the GraphQL module. Uh, the other is limit. Uh, you could call this uh, offset if you if you wanted. That's also um, also a valid name. If we call this offset, and we'll also give that a type of GraphQL int as well. Uh, brilliant. Then that's our arguments set. So that's kind of similar if you remember back to our mutation. In our create event mutation, we actually had to specify what type of arguments were coming in. And what we can see here is we have a data argument, and that embodies everything else. Uh, but inside of here, we're going to specify first and limit for now. Uh, this may also be known as um, uh, skip. Um, I've just noticed that that is also there. Uh, you could call this limit or skip. Let's call it skip just to show you that as well. Um, it's totally fine. Uh, then these are the arguments that we are given. Uh, we aren't actually using these arguments in this function at all, um, but we will now. So we will need the skip, the first and skip. Now, using ES2015, I like to set some defaults here. So we'll set them both to null. If we save that, Prettier will run and make our code look a little bit nicer. And there's actually really only one thing left that we need to do, and that is just to run uh, skip and pass in skip. And then, um, uh, what was it? First and skip. Great. So you, you, again, you could call this um, call this limit. It's entirely up to you and offset. Uh, it's just certain conventions. People follow certain different things. So I've saved that file. Our node mon has restarted, and we can see that everything appears to be working fine. So if we open up our uh, graphical interface, we'll just refresh that so we know we've got a fresh copy, and we'll run all events, and uh, we'll grab the name. Now you see. Uh, that we run here, uh, skip and first is not function, uh, first and skip, first and skip. Um, sorry, my bad. Uh, that is the limit. Cool. So we are getting all of our events here. But what we can do is we can pass in some arguments. So if we say if we wanted the first three, we're given the first three. And if we wanted to skip the first three, we could also do that as well. So if we skip that to five, we should see those other two drop off. And then you see there, um, 10. And then we could say we wanted the, you know, the first 10, uh, the first 100, and it would bring those down as well. So that's pagination, very simple in its simple form. Uh, there are other libraries that allow you to do this with Mongoose a lot easier, um, but that's kind of the most bare bones way that I would use it in a real world world example. Um, 
It's kind of very, very basic, very simple. There's not a lot to it. So hopefully that helps and answers that question. Um, if there are any other videos you'd like me to cover, I do have some more in the pipeline, uh, some other ideas that I want to implement and refactor this a little bit more. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. Leave a comment as to why. Um, but leave a comment if you've got any questions. And please follow me on YouTube and on Twitter. Have a great day, guys. Happy coding.